Do you find your offline OST files inaccessible in MS Outlook? And you want to convert offline OST files into PST? We brings you the solution. SysTools OST to PST Converter Software Our software lets you convert offline OST file data like emails, calendars, contacts, tasks etc. into PST format. Let's check out the main features of the software. The application recovers and extract all data items of offline OST file. Supports deleted data restoration from offline OST mailboxes. Provides option to import OST file to Office 365. Supports conversion from Office 365 and Hotmail OST file. Now let's install and run the software. In the home screen, click on the Add File button on the top left corner. A small window appears, and select the file from the Option field. After selecting the file, click Open button. And below you can see the Default Storage Destination field. Then you can see the Advanced Scan checkbox option. You can select the checkbox option if the file is highly corrupted. Click Add File button after making the selections. Now the files will be scanned. After the scanning completes, a small window appears. Click Yes if you want to save the scan files. You can see the folder list will appear on the left side of the window. Now you can double click the desired folder, then the files will appear on the right side. And below you can see the normal mail view, and attachment details of any chosen mail. Now choose the files you want to export, by selecting the checkbox option. Then right click, and select the export button. Now export option window appears. Here you can see different export type options. After entering all the required options below, you can start exporting the files by selecting Export button. Now let's check out the main export option. Let's select the Load Scan option from the navigation menu. This option lets you load any previously scanned files from the application. Then click Load button. The files will load, and click OK. You can see the folder tree will appear on the left. Then select the Export button on the top navigation menu. From the Export option window, you can select the folders by checking the box option. On the right, you can see multiple export type options. First is the PST option. Selecting this option lets you export files as PST. Then comes the MSG option. This option lets you export files as MSG. After that comes the EML option, which is applicable only for mails. And then comes the Office 365 option. This option lets you export files in a chosen Office 365 account. Now for example, let's choose this option, and see how to export files using this option. Click Advanced Settings button. And here you can see the Office 365 settings. From the General Settings, you can choose the Date Filter checkbox option, to apply Date Filter from the drop-down. And below you can select, or deselect the Categories checkbox options, according to your requirements. Now let's select the Office 365 settings. The Office 365 account has to be impersonated in order to export files with impersonation option. Now select the user impersonation checkbox option. Clicking on the link will open up a new page in a new tab. And there you can see how to apply impersonation videos for different exchange versions. 
after selecting the user impersonation checkbox option. In order to export files using with impersonation, you have to enter the Office 365 admin ID details and password, in the respective fields below. If you are using the without impersonation option, you can leave the field blank. After that click save button. A small window appears with success message, and click OK. In the export options below, you will find two options. You can either select the enter destination mailbox option. And below you will find checkbox option to provide the destination office 365 account from a CSV file. There is option to auto-generate the CSV file by clicking the auto-generate CSV link. Now let's see the auto-generated CSV file. In the CSV file, you have to enter the Destination Office 365 account ID and password, as shown here. After entering the details, save the CSV file in the location of your choice. Then click OK. After that you have to click Browse button, to select the CSV file from the same location where you have saved the file. Then click Open button. Then you can see the Ignore System Folders option, selected by default. Click the blue link to know about system folders. And below you can see the Maintain Folder Hierarchy checkbox, selected by default. Then click Next button to proceed further. After the validation process gets over, click Export button. Now you can see the files will be exported. After the export process completes, click OK. Then you can see the export report window appears. Click Save button to save the export report in CSV format. Then click Save button and click OK. You have successfully exported the files. Click Cancel button and then Yes to close the window. Now let's see the output files. Log in to your Destination Office 365 account. Here you can see the exported files in hierarchical order. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Log on to the given product page for more details and purchasing the product. For any query, mail us to support at Thank you watching.